Hello, I'm Robert Sturman, and welcome to my studio in Santa Monica, California, North America. And I am a mixed media visual artist specializing in a form of photography in which I transform images that come out of an instant camera by carving and scratching the surface of the film while the emulsion is still wet. And <clears throat> the first camera I got uh, that I could do this technique with, I bought it at a swap meet for five dollars. And then after that I started to travel around the world with this camera creating bodies of work um, that were exploring and celebrating the diversity and the richness of, of life. Yes. Can you name some of the places that you've traveled to? Sure. I spent four months in Cuba. Uh, I spent a few months in India and then Laos, Nepal, uh, Burma. I've been all over Europe. Uh, I've traveled extensively through the United States and Mexico and um, that's about it. Is there any one place that uh, calls your heart or something that you know, always has a great memory for you? India. India. Absolutely, India. India is the place where I, I believe that's where I did my, my international world graduate school. Uh, I just, that's where I became an artist. That's I just think that the, the greatest place that an artist can be is just to be excited each day when, when we wake up that you have the <clears throat> ability and the freedom to create something new and to, and to move further in your thoughts and to just get somewhere that you've never been and start from nothing and, and have something by the end of the day that just really excites me that we just can, can constantly make things and, and, and move forward into evolution. Each set situation there's a poetry of the moment to be found and um, I really don't think I have any long-term goals for my art. I just I want to be engaged thoroughly right now with what I'm doing and make each piece <clears throat> a summation of, of everything that I've, I've learned in my entire life. And How would you define art? I mean, art could be so simple as just reminding us of the beauty in the world. It could just be that simple. It doesn't have to be this long scholarly explanation. And uh, people build sandcastles on the beach, and 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 if you stop and, and you look at something, and if it moves you, then you're 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 elevated. You're 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 moved. You're you're enjoying. Robert, thank you for letting us come into your house. Thank you for sharing with us, and we look forward to seeing what new things are around the corner. All right. I see that you're bringing people together um, through art and celebrating life through uh, languages that are not our everyday languages, languages that people don't have as much um, emotional baggage that they're carrying around with them, uh, languages that people can experience on, on a more innocent level and <clears throat> just get back to the celebration of being with each other and I see you as somebody that uh, is, is somewhat of a vortex for bringing pe all people together to enjoy an experience and um, move forward together and uh, let down walls and boundaries and, and up uplift the spirit.